Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make chicken biryani from scratch. Let's get started. First, we need to wash the chicken and cut into chunks. Add some ice and two limes and soak the chicken in water for one hour. Wash the basmati rice till the water is clear. If you don't have basmati rice in your country, Try to find the alternative one with less thickness. Add water and soak the rice for one hour. Biryani spices in different regions can be different. Today I only share the spices I like to use. In this recipe, I couldn't find mace in my local market, but if you have it, add it as well. And of course, you can just buy mixed biryani spice powder. Also, we need some saffron and saffron color. If you want to only use one of them, it's totally fine. Here I got some mint leaves and coriander leaves, both that need to be chopped. This is ginger garlic paste, which includes 15 gram peeled ginger and 5 cloves garlic. You need to pound them very well. Next, we need the ground saffron, then add in hot water, add a quarter teaspoon saffron color and then set aside. Now let's grind the spices. Roughly pound the green cardamoms, black cardamoms, nutmeg. It helps the grinder to run easily. Toss all the spices in the grinder except the bay leaves and the cinnamon sticks. Then grind them to fine powder. Without all your heating up, add 300 gram onion slices. Give a stir and let all the onions soak in oil. Use medium heat at the beginning. Once the onion change color, turn down the fire to low and stir it from time to time. At the end, the onions turn to golden brown Drain all you and transfer them on kitchen paper and separate them from each other to cool down. Next step is to marinate the chicken, add yogurt or curd, ginger garlic paste, one teaspoon biryani spice, three teaspoons saffron water, one teaspoon salt, one third fried onion. 1 tablespoon onion oil. Mix and marinate it for at least 30 minutes. Add 1 and a half teaspoon salt in the water. Toss one bay leaf, half cinnamon, and some green cardamoms. When the water comes to boil, add the soaked rice and cook for 5 minutes till 90% cooked. After 5 minutes, try the rice. It should be almost done, but a little hard in the middle. Strain the rice and set aside for later. Add half cup of onion oil in the pot. Toss the rest of bay leaves and cinnamon. Add marinated chicken. Once the chicken changes color, add 2 tablespoons biryani spices, half teaspoon turmeric, after spice are mixed well, add 1 chopped tomato, Turn the fire to medium low and cook it for 10 minutes. After trying, I decide to add one more teaspoon salt. Continue cooking for a while till clear oil appears. Then we can assemble the biryani. 
You can use electric cooker like me or casserole on stove. First, we put a layer of rice, then the chicken. Add the fried onion and our leaves. Then do this one more time. Make sure the top layer is rice. If you cook on a stove, after layering the rice, poke several holes of the rice and let it cook evenly. At the end, add saffron water. Use rice mode of the cooker or lowest fire on stove with heat diffuser to cook for 20 to 25 minutes. My room is full filled with aroma now. Now let's talk about the taste. The chicken is tender and the rice has rich flavor. It's with umami of chicken, fragrant onions, flavor spices, and perfect savor taste. Normally, biryani goes with raita sauce which includes yogurt, cucumber, mint, cumin powder. All only with yogurt is also tasty. In general, this is good biryani. It's something you want to continue eating. You can have a try and share with me your results. Also leave a comment down below. Tell me what you want me to cook next time. Thanks for watching. Looking forward to see you in next video. Bye.